हेलो एवरी वन आमोद हेयर फ्रॉम यू टारगेट कॉमन यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम हेयर विद अनदर अरे बेस्ड जॉब प्रोग्रामिंग पर्सन सो आई होप यू पीपल आर लाइकिंग माई न्यू प्ले लिस्ट ऑन फ्रिक्वेंटली आर जॉब प्रोग्राम एंड आई एम टारगेटिंग फॉर मिनिमम हंड्रेड प्रोग्राम्स विच विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक द इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल्सो इट विल हेल्प यू टू बिल्ड द लॉजिक टू सॉल्व इन यू जॉब प्रोग्राम्स ओके सो In today's video, we are going to learn to find the common elements from two integer array. Okay, or it can be also asked in interviews like find the intersections of two arrays. So, for an example, if I go to Notepad and uh, suppose I have two array, so first array will contain suppose ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. Okay. and we have another array called a2 and this this array contains 30 40 60 70 and 80 okay so if someone ask like okay what are the common elements between these two integer arrays so we can say okay like 30 and 40 are present in both the array right so this we need to find so either you can be asked like find the intersection of two arrays or find the common elements between array okay so both are same intersection means common elements okay so there are many good way like optimal way like using the hash set and other thing you can use but in interview generally they are expect you to uh, use some uh, solve the pro problem without using any collections class and all okay so yeah so let's uh, think about the logic okay which i always prefer that before jumping to the notebook or intellij or in clips you need to come up with the logic because if your logic is clear you can write the code easily okay so what we need to do here like how can we find the common element okay so we need to go into brute force uh, mechanism here because we are not going to use any collection classes here because in interview they will not ask you to use those things okay so let's think about the brute force just think just think uh, in a layman term okay so this is the first array this is the second array and suppose i want to check if 10 okay if the 10 which is the first element in array called a1 is present in the second array okay so what is the basic thing you need to do pick the first element okay then go to the array 2 and check if this array contains that or not okay so since we don't have any dead even method or something where we can go and check the content whether this array contains or not okay so we have only one option like we need to iterate the array okay iterate the second array means okay get me the first element okay whether it is equal to 10 no uh, if uh, take the next element if it is equal to uh, the uh, first element or not like that we need to go and iterate it okay okay so logic very simple like uh, we need to go in like uh, pick the element of uh, first array one by one and go and check in the second element index by index that is the brute force method and uh that is generally expected in interview as well okay so let me go to eclipse where i am writing all the job programs and let me create a new class called uh 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 intersection of two arrays okay okay perfect so let me create a main method here and uh, i'll create two integer array okay okay so create two integer array so i will create int e1 equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 okay and then i get another array another array it will be a2 and then i what i'll do i will just remove 
some elements here like 40 50 and then I will put 60 70 and 80 okay good now we, we need to iterate the array right so we need to pick the element from the first array and then I have to check in the second array so obviously I need to use for loops okay so here we will here we will have one outer for loop and inner for loop outer for loop will be tagged to or will be responsible for this array okay means picking the element from the first array that will be done by outer array after picking the element from the out, uh, outer array we need to check that into in uh, second array that means we need to get another uh, loop called that will be inner loop inner for loop okay which will which will go and iterate the second array okay it's like a nested for loop here okay so what i'm going to do for int i equal to 0 i less than e1 dot length and then i plus plus remember that the size or length of both the arrays is not uh, like should be same not should be same means it may or may not be the same here i have taken the example where the array length are same but yeah that's not necessary okay and even you can edge, you can handle some edge cases as well okay then we need to get another for loop and that will be responsible for in a uh, second array so j less than equal to e2 dot length and then j plus plus okay cool see so here what we need to do if array of one because we take the first element right from the uh, first array so e of a1 of i okay okay equal a2 of j right means take the first element of the array a1 that is 10 and the go and check with the all the elements of second array right if it is equal okay that means that means the element of first array is found in the second array right if it is found okay then let it print out okay uh, uh, we can print e1 dot i okay you can give some proper statement also like a duplicate elements or something okay so this simple logic and end of this iteration will get the our common elements from this array or duplicate elements from the array okay so let me run this program and hopefully we should get the proper output so what we are expecting here that we should get 40 and 50 correct let me show you here one each case or the trick part what will happen if i have suppose 40 again okay so what we expecting this time output should be only 40 and 50 why we should uh, again if you print the 40 here or let me run this one first okay so what we are getting 40 40 50 okay means when uh, during this iteration right when we take the 40 from the first array and when it go and search for 40 in the second array it finds two occurrence right here 40 and here 40 and due to this logic it's printing 40 40 twice okay so this is not making sense because 40 is 40 why we are getting two times okay so for this when we get any existing means when we when this condition getting satisfied right means we found that this is a common element or the element we are looking from array 1 that is found into array 2 okay then after printing the common element or common element we should it we should terminate it okay we should terminate it why because if you don't terminate it then we will get the duplicate results okay which you don't want so that's why if you run it 
and uh, this time you should get like 40 and 50 okay so this is the point you, where you need to think and i observe like this is also observed in interviews also like if you are thinking this scenario or not okay so this is the brute force method of solving this problem but yeah there are many optimal ways using the hash set you can go and check uh, that one or i will get another video on that but yeah if this is asked in interview so you need to use this approach and solve the problem okay so i hope you are liking the way of explanation for the programs which i cover which i am covering in this part of uh, playlist and if you feel if you feel any uh, any improvement is needed or any suggestion or any feedback please send out a mail to me and also if you want me to cover any specific program that also you can send out a mail or you can comment on this video if you are liking my video please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone